In today's video, we're gonna compare the Guitar Lele versus the nylon string guitar. I make a comment that this instrument, the Guitar Lele, should be something you learn as a completely different instrument. And I get a lot of comments saying that the Guitar Lele is nothing more than a guitar capoed at the fifth fret. I'm gonna play both of them. I'm gonna let you decide. And when you hear them, go ahead and leave a comment below because I'd love to hear what you think. Hi, I'm Terry, welcome to You Collect the Pros. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the lessons and the tutorials. We're gonna start today with the guitar lele. I'm gonna play a progression, and then I'm gonna play the same progression on the guitar, so it's gonna sound like this. So a couple things about the guitar lele. First of all, the string names here are A, E, C, G, D, and A. These are nylon strings, and these are the same strings that we're gonna hear on the guitar that I have. Also keep in mind that the body of this particular guitar lele is the size of a tenor ukulele. So the body and also the neck length is the same as a tenor ukulele, it's just that the neck is a little bit wider. So here's our guitar. Let me go ahead and play that same finger picking pattern that I played on the guitar lately. A couple things about the guitar. The tuning here, just on an open guitar, the strings here are E, B, G, D, A, and E. So the guitar lately is actually a fourth higher than the guitar, and that's why we are gonna capo it, but I'll get to that in a second. These are nylon strings, as I mentioned, just like the guitar lately. And this is a handmade nylon string guitar from Spain by a company called Aria. So it's a really nice sounding guitar. And we're using the same mic, which is right above me here, for both instruments. So the sound's not being altered in any way uh, through a pickup or anything like that. All right, so now, what the comment is, is that the guitar lady sounds like the guitar capoed up on the fifth fret. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna grab my capo here. I'm gonna simply put it here on the fifth fret. Capo it. Boom, now I'm gonna play that same pattern again. All right, so now the guitar lady again. So what did you think? What did you think of the sound of the guitar capoed at the fifth fret versus the guitar lady just played in the open position? What happens here when we capo the guitar here at the fifth fret, our strings now become A, E, C, G, D, and A. So notice those are now the same strings as the guitar lady, okay? But also the chords change. So on a guitar, if you just play this shape here, well, not the capo doesn't work, but if you just play this shape here, that's a C chord. If you play it up here, now it becomes an F chord. Notice there's a fourth up, C, D, E, F. All right, so what do you think about the sound of the two? Here's what my, my thing is, is one, when you capo a guitar to fifth fret, it's hard to see the, the neck and all the, all the chords like you do when you're in an open position. You almost have to even think of this as a separate instrument because even though this shape right here is a C shape, like we said, this is a C shape from this chord, but now it's an F chord. So now your chord shapes, even though they're the same, they all have different names. And then if you try to do any kind of single note stuff, right, you even have different notes. So that's, to me, just a little bit strange. Let's talk about the sound or just how it feels. Because this is a, a full-size guitar, this sounds a lot deeper, right, a lot more bass because of the bigger body. Remember the guitar lately has this body of a size of a tenor ukulele. So I think that's one big difference. So even though the capo is altering the sound of a guitar, it still sounds a lot bigger and bassier than the guitar lady. The other thing is, is the body here. It's just so much bigger to play, right? The guitar lady is nice, it's small, the body's small, the neck's small. This is just a bigger instrument 
in general. Even if you have a smaller size guitar, like a three quarter size guitar or a half guitar, it's still bigger than the Guitar Lady. All right, so let me take this one step further. Let's go ahead and do some strumming now. We'll start with the guitar here, capo to the fifth fret, and then we'll grab the Guitar Lady. Now the same progression here on the guitar lady. So what do you think? Again, leave some comments below what you think. So this sounds to me a lot thinner, and it should be because the body is less thick, less big than the guitar, so it's gonna not have as much resonance, not gonna have as much low end to it. Um, to me, this sounds more like an ukulele. It just has the extra two strings. So even though the tuning is the same when you capo guitar at the fifth fret as a guitar lele, I still think that this instrument is more closely related to an ukulele because of the sound, because of the tuning just by itself without having to capo it. It's just like an ukulele, except it's just gonna add the two bass strings. Just the overall size of it, it's just nicer to play, it's easier to play. Um, I use a strap, but you could you know, very easily just hold this instrument up and play it. So, so yeah, so there, there's my thoughts on it. So the guitar lately versus the guitar capoed at the fifth fret. You've heard them both, you've heard finger picking, you've heard some strumming. I wanna know what you think, leave a comment below. Thank you for being here and uh, we'll see you next time.